There are three kinds of aliens. The greys, insectoids, and the reptilians. I don't know if you've been able to hear about this yet, but they just issued a warning to literally anybody that owns a pet during the solar eclipse, and that's obviously just a couple days away. Is the world ending on April 8th as the total solar eclipse passes through the United States and yes, hits a couple of towns named Nanova? If you've not been able to hear about this yet, you absolutely need to because CERN is about to fire up this machine during the solar eclipse to look for invisible matter. The solar eclipse theory just got a lot deeper, and it has to do with these cities. So as you probably know, we're having a solar eclipse on April 8th. Alright, let me let me just kill it right here for everybody that's going crazy right now on the internet, trying to freaking buy up all of these canned goods like, you know, it's really the end of the world. Okay, let me tell you something, right? It's not going to be the end of the world. A lot of people are mixing up and, and, and not thinking about April 8th event and the signs that's been going on outside of just april 8th let me tell you something right biblically we, we would never know when that time come we would never know the exact day we would never know the exact time it would never be planned like, like he would never when i say he I'm talking about our creator you know a, a lot of people have other beliefs it can be a she or whoever whoever your creator is i'm positive you read your bible we would never know when that time comes so y'all just get out your head. April 8th is the ending. What people are referencing of today are just even all of these past events that's going on are signs. Obviously, if y'all read the title and thumbnail, y'all already know what to expect on what we're going to get into of today's video. But I just wanted to kind of tell you all to ease your mind for a lot of people that's thinking that today is really the end of, of, of the entire war. This might be bad news for somebody. It is not, you know, but let me tell you all something. I'm not going to get too deep into it, but American media is very, very toxic. You know what I'm saying? Like there are plenty of eclipses that go on around the world, not just in America, okay? Like everything don't just happen in America. We live in a, an entire earth and the earth is so much bigger than they're even telling us, okay? So I want a lot of you all to know that there are eclipses that's been going on last year, the year before that. Every year there's something different that's going on within the world, just in a different area of the world. But media, because American media is so strong and so toxic. When things happen in America, they're going to bump it out to be some type of end of the world thing. And I don't want you all to be a victim of that. That's why I'm telling y'all, I'm not, I'm not one of these people that just follow everything that everybody say. But I do believe that there's a bigger purpose on what's really going on and why they are pushing this agenda out. So do y'all research on American media. I mean, I'm in American media as well. Not everything is negative, but we are very very strong and them higher elites are stronger than me stronger than anybody that's on this platform at the moment so it's just a little food for thought for y'all i wanted to give y'all before we get into this video just in case people are a little over the fence are a little scared of what could potentially be going on in the world you have nothing to worry about okay it's all a part of a plan or a bigger agenda that is potentially going to be pushed if not already pushed at the moment we just don't know i'm positive next year around this time the eclipse probably will happen somewhere in africa or some some crazy continent that we never heard of before. You know, it's a normal thing with life, y'all. This is not the end. Let's get into this video. Hopefully y'all enjoy. Hit that like button, comment and subscribe. And like, y'all can hate me. I know a lot of people hate that. I don't agree with everything that goes on in the media, but I'm not to, I'm not, I'm not the type of person that wants to be liked by agreeing with the mass. You don't mess with me, you don't mess with me. You can bounce because the family here and we live, we live. Let's get into this reaction to see what's going on. Now I want to get into kind of what started everything, right? What started everything, I personally feel like I've seen a lot of videos, but this video in particular, well, not video, but this event in particular, the ship um, that crashed into the Francis, the Francis, sorry, my English, Scott Key Bridge um, in Baltimore that was headed to uh, Sri Lanka, right? And this also was the same ship named White Lion that was also in the movie that was produced by Barack Obama called Leave the, Bro the World Behind. So everybody was somewhat putting two and two together and saying this is not a coincidence because the bridge that got took down was also in leave the world behind so it was i guess it was like filmed over there or something like that um and then everybody was bringing this into play with the whole new york thunder that hit you know a lot of people that's in brazil when the other monument got hit people were talking about that as well um but people were really talking about the lightning that struck new york um, a couple of, uh, I think it was April 5th, right? Right after that, there was a 4.8 magnitude earthquake that happened. And 
everybody was was freaking out. They like it's crazy that it was four point eight and we have an eclipse at four point eight. So the internet was on a frenzy about this and everybody was trying to put two and two together, just things that's going on around the world. And a lot of people are getting nervous. This is somewhat of the footage that happened with the 4.8 earthquake that was in New York City on the 5th of April. You see, that's that's, that's pretty serious. A lot of y'all um, from St. Louis, Missouri, we actually had an earthquake before when I was, I think I was probably like nine years old or something like that. And we haven't had one since, but that feeling was something to remember. And it was nothing close to a 4.8, though. I think it was probably like a 3 point something. But a 4.8, I'm positive that they felt that. they felt that. I'm surprised that none of the buildings fell as well, because that's a pretty strong earthquake. So all of this stuff is going on that's leading up in today, that y'all watching this video, 4.8, which is, is the day of the solar eclipse, right? So it's a lot of things that's going on. I know I'm talking y'all off, but I hope that y'all understand y'all walking along here with me as I walk y'all through this journey on what's going on, right? So we got some more footage. This is just from. <laughs> Look, see, everybody going crazy right now. This is just, you know, hybrids. A lot of people know who listen to rappers, a boogie or something like that. But these are, I guess, counties that's within the um, uh, metropolitan area of New York. So we go into this and then we have people that were. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just imagine being at the top of a skyscraper when this happened. People that was in New York was on the top of a skyscraper when it starts shaking. I can only imagine how scary it is. Y'all let me know down below, how would y'all feel if y'all had to experience something like this, a 4.8 magnitude earthquake on the top of, an, of a skyscraper in New York? A woman, where's your phone? Oh my God, it's upstairs. Me say me put on my clothes and me try to feel the house I come down here, me what kind of plane that I pass, so what happened? <laughs> I'm sitting here calling. I'm checking the cameras. I don't see you. I don't know what's going on, and you're not picking me up. Me me say, man, me, me say. They don't want that note till me here on Spectrum One now says an earthquake. <laughs> me say, me couldn't believe it, man. <laughs> Oh my God, I can only imagine. I know this would have been a lot of you all grandmothers. I mean, how nervous he is just adding on to it if you ask me, but this is pretty funny. Is the world ending on April 8th as the total solar eclipse passes through the United States and yes, hits a couple of towns named Nineveh. Here's a couple things to consider. Why does the hyper charismatic church people group uh, and trust me, I'm pretty charismatic when it comes to things. I believe in prophecy, tongues, I believe in signs and wonders. But why does this camp truly believe that the global church movement centers and surrounds itself specifically in the United States? Did you know that total solar eclipses happen every 18 months? No, it's not always in the United States, but that should mm -hmm. be something that rings a bell. Secondly, if it's a truly a sign and wonder from God, don't you think it would be less calculated and on a calendar? Because as Jesus says, no one knows the time. Yes, the signs point to the end times, but we've been in the end times. Guys, seriously. Literally, and when a lot of people wake up and, and stop falling victim to the media, and that's what I'm trying to explain to some people, like there are eclipses that go on all across the world. But you have to understand how powerful United States is and a lot of these other countries is with just even media like 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 Russia even exposed like no American media is really the top notch media. They control a lot. They literally can put a lot of things into our brain. That's why I be trying to I be trying to tell you all like what's going on now and what they're informing us of now is something bigger that's going on that we're not paying attention to at the moment. I promise you it is. And when people realize that, sorry for the mic, but when people realize that, then we will be better off in life to not really fall victim to the little things and make them so much bigger. Like, oh my God, the solar eclipse, the world is about to end. This is that, bro. It's, 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 we would never know when the world could end. It, it will be the most unplanned. I'm 100% positive. It will be very unplanned. It will be signs, yes, but it would, it would never be on this type of movie stuff. Like, oh, the solar eclipse, the moon, like that. The, Bro, that, that's not like logically, that's not it's something deeper that's going on. And I promise I promise you when y'all see this video and then it's going to be some weeks that pass or some days that pass and something else going. Y'all go say, bro, man said it. Y'all go come back to this video and be like, he actually said that it's something deeper that's going on that they're trying to take our mind off of and put fear into our heart to make things seem like that the world is really finna end. Like these things happen naturally all over the world. It just you have to understand how strong American media is. The solar eclipse theory just got a lot deeper, and it has to do with these cities. 
So as you probably know, we're having a solar eclipse on April 8th. So what everyone has been talking about is this picture right here, which is the past and upcoming solar eclipse patterns, and this picture right here. So this is in Revelation and it says, I'm the Aleph and the Tav, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. The Aleph and the Tav, and the beginning and the end. And the Bible also mentions days of darkness and the end time prophecies. But all of this got a lot deeper with one Bible verse. Matthew chapter 12 verse 39 reads, He answered, A wicked and adulterous generation, much like ours currently, asked for a sign, but none will be given except the sign of the prophet of Jonah. So what sign could Jesus be trying to give? Now this is where it gets crazy. So this right here is the path the solar eclipse is taking. And it will be passing several cities known as Nineveh. So what does that have to do with the sign of Jonah? So Jesus told Jonah to go to Nineveh, and he denied him. But he couldn't deny God's plan and still ended up in Nineveh. Now this is where it's crazy. This solar eclipse pattern will be passing six cities known as Nineveh. Begins with the city of Jonah. And not only that, halfway through, there is a city known as Rapture. And not far from that is a town called Williamstown, Kentucky, which holds the ark red level. Now the goal is not to fear you guys into following Christ, because no man knows the day Jesus will be returning. But he did say he would give signs, so it's important to get right with God before it's too late. It's definitely important to get right, and I'm glad that he put that at the end, you know, so he not trying to sit here and deceive anyone. But um, but I shall say this, right? Nobody will never know the time or place, but there will be signs. And that is probably as deep and honest as I can get here. This is all the news that happened in space this this is all the news that happened in space this month but it's going to be simplified in 60 seconds. NASA is sending a message in a bottle to possible alien life that's hiding on Jupiter's moon Europa. Obviously they're hoping that these aliens are just going to text us back. A once in a lifetime comet that's bigger than Mount Everest is heading for Earth and could be visible soon. This comet is not going to hit us it's just passing by but they say that you might be able to see it in the sky during the solar eclipse. Scientists discovered this giant volcano on Mars and they say that it was hidden in plain sight. The volcano looks like this for anybody wondering. Scientists have also discovered that there's actually a massive solid metal ball inside of Earth's core. Whenever I was in school, I was taught that it was lava. Wow. This 12 billion year old body of water was discovered floating in the middle of space, but they had to stop researching it because it's next to a black hole. This is gonna be your last reminder that the 2024 total solar eclipse is tomorrow on April the 8th, so don't miss it. And also, even if you did miss that, there's gonna be a once in a lifetime cosmic explosion explosion set up to light up the night sky. Basically, these two stars are going to explode in the sky and you'll be able to see it without a telescope. If you don't want to miss this, just make sure you add me because I'll let you know as soon as it happens. I give you these daily roundups every single day, so make sure you add me and come back to me tomorrow. This is obviously about to get crazy, but if you know literally anybody that lives in any of these highlighted states, you need to watch this video because up to a trillion different bugs are about to come out of the ground. I just wanted to make your day a little bit brighter and let you know that up to a trillion different cicadas are about to start emerging in the US. And by the way, this isn't your annual cicada. These are two different breeds that have not been out of the ground for decades. So in a rare occurrence, a trillion cicadas from two different broods are expected to begin appearing in the Midwest and the Southeast regions of the United States at the end of April. I'm gonna let you know that it's in the middle of April right now and people are already starting to see these bugs. So this is actually the first time since 1803 that these two different broods of cicadas cicadas are going to appear together in an event known as a dual emergence. Lovely. So the first round of cicadas are expected to start emerging in late April. Temperature determines when they come out. Obviously, like I said, some people are already seeing the bugs. And if you want to see another estimate for where these bugs are going to start coming up, here you go. This is like half of the United States. Mm -hmm. These cicadas are not going anywhere once they come out. They're going to be around with us for six weeks. And by the way, cicadas do not bite or sting. They literally do not harm you, but they just cannot fly and they cannot land. They just plop around. I give you these daily roundups every day, so make sure you add me and come back to me tomorrow. I'm positive a lot of y'all gonna say cicada spikes. Where, where are my bug uh, uh, phobia people out there? And the messed up part is that it's gonna be in St. Louis and a lot of Chicago. If y'all know, I'm originally from St. Louis, born and raised and moved out about three years ago from St. Louis to um, Atlanta. But I'm glad I'm not there because it looked like I'm talking about cicadas there are like, they your homies. Like they got cicada hotel rooms out there, they ain't there.
If you've not been able to hear about this yet, you absolutely need to because CERN is about to fire up this machine during the solar eclipse to look for invisible matter. So CERN is about to officially test the world's most powerful particle accelerator during the April solar eclipse to search for invisible matter that secretly powers our universe. Hello everyone at CERN, let's not do this. So the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator is set to smash protons together on April the 8th to search for invisible particles secretly powering our universe. So Theories have suggested that there are 17 different particle groups and CERN confirmed the existence of one of them using the machine back in 2012. So now the team has officially restarted that machine with hopes of unraveling more mysteries of the universe, specifically dark matter. This sounds like a brilliant idea. Scientists began tests by sending billions of protons around the machine's ring of superconducting magnets to boost their energy and ensure the $4 billion machine was in working condition. And now during the solar eclipse, CERN is going to shoot them down a 17 mile long tunnel at nearly the speed of light to recreate conditions a second after the Big Bang. I know you're not going to want to forget about this, so I will give you an update as soon as all this goes down, so make sure you add me and come back. Wow. To know that they're doing something like this, and I've never heard of them doing things like this, can anybody let me know down below, is this normal type of activity from CERN? I don't know if you've been able to hear about this yet, but they just issued a warning to literally anybody that owns a pet during the solar eclipse, and that's obviously just a couple days away. So this warning was issued to anyone with a pet ahead of the solar eclipse later this month, in a couple days. So obviously, like I just said, experts are now warning that pet owners need to take note of some important precautions. They're saying that there's not many reports and not that many scientific studies on animal behavior during eclipses. They're saying that the most likely response is that animals will start their evening routines and show evening behavior, so like going to bed thinking it's nighttime. And they say that if you have a dog or cat, they might go to bed, get quieter, or start yawning and stretching. Okay. They're also noting that some dogs, depending on the breed, obviously might start howling at the time of the eclipse thinking it's a full moon or something. So obviously, while all of that is not concerning, pets could begin to show some signs of anxiety, just like when there's a thunderstorm or during fireworks. So obviously, they're just trying to get you to look out for your animals if they do get anxiety. So if you do have a pet, they're saying to look out for increased panting, scratching, hiding, or pacing. So signs of anxiety. And if you do need a fresh reminder, the eclipse is going to happen on April the 8th. So it's just a couple days away. Man, my dog not finna know what's going on. My dog is crazy. My dog finna sit here and be doing backflips, cartwheels, or the whatever. They not finna be affected by this, but it's crazy. Can somebody send me videos or try to record yeah, animals within this type of situation? I know a lot of the times, you know, they don't be outside like just cats, but dogs will. But can anybody confirm? Um, if they dog had any of these, I know a lot of people are going to be watching this after um, April 8th. Uh, but just let me know down below, please. Vision Pros have only been out for a few days and people are already using them like they've been around for years. Normally, when a new technology emerges like AI, the internet, or the iPhone, it takes people a while to not only understand it, but to accept it. But we're already seeing people walk around the streets and crossing roads with these things strapped to their face, on the subway, typing on thin air with a blank expression like it's completely normal. And yes, thanks to the fact that you can see the world almost perfectly with their cameras, people have even being spotted driving their cars while wearing the wow. Vision Pros. And we are days in. Now, I don't know if it's for the fact that there's already been so many movies about AR goggles like Ready Player One and The Simpsons predicting this shit, but it really feels like, unlike so many other pieces of tech in the past, the Vision Pros are one of those products where people's imaginations are actually way in front, and the tech is only now catching up to us. And I mean, there's a good case for this because we only recently found out that Apple had actually been working on the Vision Pros as early as 2007, the same wow. year that the first ever iPhone was launched. I guess what's cool and slightly terrifying at the same time is, as we're already seeing, if you release a cutting edge product to a public that's already been ready, you get Black Mirror real quick. I mean, why do you think that series was so eerie in the first place? I mean, we all know that they don't never release products right when they're finished. It's always years in production. That's why I believe that they're always 20 years more in advance than they're letting us know at the current moment. Our skin turns green or when we wear copper or fake jewelry. Watch this. So when you turn green from wearing that necklace or that ring or that bracelet or that watch to them, them earrings, you're exposing your true skin color. Stay with me. Melanin and plants go through the same photosynthesis. We absorb the sun the same as plants do. The only difference we have with plants is that they have magnesium and we have iron. Now we know that our bodies are made up of a lot of water, almost 80% 75. A lot of oxygen. What color does iron take when it's in water? That would explain why we are copper colored beings. 
Now, when a leaf dies or falls in frequency, it turns the same color of our copper colored skin. It loses its green color. They also try to say that the green veins we see in our skin is just a trick of light. Now, some babies are also born with green skin patches on them. And they didn't have no fake jewelry. And have y'all found it fascinating that babies don't have to drink water? You almost have to force them to drink it. Look, top 10 tips to get your kids to drink water to get them more exposed to this oxygen. And some people say that could be the reason why our bodies age. Because DNA passes down and stays alive forever because it's the magnesium that holds it together and keeps it alive, protects it. Now plants are green, they don't have iron, they have magnesium. Now we know in Egypt that Osiris is green. Yeah, green skin, immortality, magnesium. Even when we come out the womb, it says our bodies aren't suited for water for several months. Also, they can't tell where our genes originate. The civilizations that we built, the knowledge that we had. It is the oldest human DNA strain on Earth. What's in our skin is found in space. Y'all can say I'm wow. crazy, but y'all know some of these aliens are different colors. We probably came to this planet with green skin. But y'all stay dangerous and let me know what you know what that is a great analogy i like how she put that together honestly and it really makes you think like what if like it's crazy cause i'm literally looking at my skin right now it just it just i know this made you just even go back in the video and look and say hold on is my skin really green i know it had to because this started to make me want to look more into this because it makes a lot of sense and it doesn't really seem like she's just trying to put random stuff together just to deceive us there are three kinds of aliens the grays insectoids and the reptilians but nine times out of ten what people report seeing are the greys the reptilians i don't think those accounts are credible the invasion already happened no one knows exactly when but they're here They've been here. Do you know what they want? They seem to be studying us, experimenting on us. One thing we know for sure is they use our fears against us. Hey, I wonder what movie this is. Can anybody let me know down below? Because, you know, they always hold truth within some movies. But I think that this movie honestly seems pretty good. So if you all know this movie, then please let me know down below. People who expose the truth. One of the most amazing things that I have ever seen at the bottom of the ocean. It was while filming for Blue Planets in the Gulf of Mexico. I noticed there's something out in the distance. Couldn't tell exactly what, but it looked like a dark band. And as we approached it, the dark band became a donut. I saw this donut. It was black in the center. What the heck is that? And so, as we get closer and closer to it, I noticed that the black band had what appeared to be kind of water lapping against the shore. This band was a ring of muscles. And inside the ring of muscles was a lake. And it's like, wait a minute. I'm already underwater. And we went out over the water in this lake and tried to descend it and bounced off. It was so super oh. saline and dense that the submarine couldn't go down and we literally bounced off. And as we bounced off, we sent ripples heading back to the shoreline. It was Of course. Of course. Of course, a helicopter crash. I, I was going to I honestly at this point, it's just obvious in the ways they want to take people out. This rapper didn't sell his soul. That's why they came for him. You know, the whole like selling your soul. Yeah. If you don't do that, they'll kill you right away or they'll just put you in jail. Right. Mm. Because if you really bag it, look, so Tory Lanez. <laughs> Tory, whose real name is Daystar Peterson, was sentenced to 10 years in prison for firing a gun at Meg and leaving her with bullet fragments in her feet. The Tory Lanez one is interesting because he went independent. Yeah, and he right went after he went independent, then all this shit started happening to yeah, him. Yeah, exactly. They took every single avenue away from me. They took the playlist in away from me. They took every single thing they could take away from me. You know what I did? I immediately went to playing. He was one of the first to like really dip out mm -hmm. and then make the million dollars no label. Yeah, straight off the bat, like right off the bat. But look, this is where it's crazy. So he says this. Illuminati trying to get me back. But I'm the one they got to spare like a Britney nigga. 
It's crazy because what happened with Megan Thee Stallion, now he's in jail. Megan Thee Stallion is signed with Rock Nation. Tori's dad, even in front of the court jail, he's like, Jay-Z, I'm talking to you. Just because my son didn't want to do that shit doesn't mean you have to put him in jail. Damn. And the whole wicked system of Rock Nation, including you, Jay-Z. Yes. You who say you rose from the gutter, but you have traded and bartered the souls of young men, and you're still doing it. But I'm not gonna get into that. I'm not gonna get yeah, into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. I know, I know. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. finna say, Michelle, not finna get into that. By the way, either. this video is scripted and for entertainment purposes only. Yep, it's scripted and for entertainment purposes only. Hours after former NFL lawyer Dan Goods caught out the NFL for being scripted before the Super Bowl back in Minnesota, he was randomly shot dead in what was described as a gang style execution. Wow. Goods had been in charge of many NFL lawsuits, including one back in 2004, where he successfully argued in court that the NFL was not a collection of 32 teams, but a single entity unit on the entertainment marketplace, so they are not subject to antitrust laws. Now, the only other sport that has this legal protection is the WWE, and Goods said right before he died that he finally felt the need to speak out because of how guilty he felt that it was legal to script games thanks to entertainment lawyers like him. See, the thing is, when everyone hears the word scripted, they think the NFL is like a play or something. When in reality, the NFL just uses the refs to manipulate the outcomes of games to maximize the entertainment. And yeah. every week, there are so many examples of this. Because in just one day, the Chargers lost a challenge on a pass interference call up six points, which gave the Patriots a free first down instead of a fourth down with two minutes left. And with the Rams up by eight points with two minutes left in the Browns game, this got ruled an incompletion. In both both cases, the plays were challenged, so it's not like some random on the field mistake. And while neither the Patriots or Browns won, these calls helped extend the game, gave both teams a better chance to win, and made it much more entertaining. Of course, it's a business, man. We all know they want to maximize on their coins because they got people to pay and families to feed, so it's not nothing new. Nah, that's crazy. It's so beautiful though, it would have made me want to jump in the water. And that looks so beautiful. Oh my God! Did y'all see that? I gotta rewind it. Did y'all see that? Yeah, that look that looks beautiful. It would have made me want to jump in. I thought I just saw like a mermaid or something. That would have made me jump in the water. You can see me. You can see me. Yes. Wow. That's like that's amazing. I'm virtually there, and I'm not there. And I can be in 20 places at once. That's true. And this screen is a touch screen, and I can have uh, stats and things here as I'm talking. I can have a QR code so you can buy merch in real time. You can do everything all at once. This can be pre-recorded, so you can have content, like whatever you want. This, this fills so many, checks so many boxes. The clarity is what I Dang. It's what's so great about it is that camera right above his head. That's yes. how he would see the audience. He could be. That's true. Beaming and. Just imagine this being in colleges or high schools. Like teachers would never have to put or students put themselves in harm's way. That are also coming to the fact that no school could be canceled. So if it's a bad day, they just go bring on the little boom thing and have people learning. So I don't know. This might be a little dangerous for the kids and they go be uh, mad at us if we come out with this invention. I mean, it's already out, but if they monopolized it and brought it into school. All of these things led to people be firmer believers in the fact that the NFL was scripted. And now here we are just a few days later and it's not. Will anybody ever? What do you say now? What happens now? Just forget about it. I don't think people do. I think people think it's rigged still. They're going to take that to the grave. Well, that that's because senior NFL insiders from ESPN go on ESPN shows and they say this. It was rigged. It was rigged. <laughs> oh, no. it, had, it had nothing to do with Patrick Mahomes. It had nothing to do with Travis Kelsey. It had nothing to do with Andy Reid. It had everything to do with the NFL script writers and them wanting to make sure that they got 
Taylor Swift back from her concert in oh Tokyo to be in the stadium in Las Vegas in time for the Super Bowl because the ratings weren't going to be high enough, so they wanted to make sure <laughs> they're even higher. Well, and the best way to dispel people from the truth is to joke about it. That's true. That's true. That is the best way. Pay attention and listen because there are a ton of hidden messages in the El Salvador president's speech. Look. For instance, the financial situation of the United States. When I talk to my conservative friends right here, they always tell me that the problem is high taxes. But they're wrong. Of course, high taxes are extremely high here in the United States. I, I give you that. You're right in that. But that's not the real problem. The real problem is not the high taxes themselves, but the fact that they are not even really funding the government. It's true. But even those high taxes, higher than a lot of places in the world, but even those taxes are really funding the government. So who's financing the government? Government is financed by treasury bonds, paper. And who buys the treasury bonds? Mostly the Fed. And how does the Fed buy them? Printing money. By printing money. But what backing does the Fed have for that money being printed? The Treasury bonds themselves. So basically, you finance the government by printing money out of thin air. Someone could ask, someone could ask, well, so if the government can print the limited amounts of money out of thin air, why did they collect taxes? It's true. I mean, in theory, it would make sense, right? If they can print unlimited amounts of money, why would they need taxes for? The answer is simple, but it's very shocking. The real problem is that you pay high taxes only to uphold the illusion that you are funding the government, which you are not. It's shocking. But it's true. The government is funded by money printing. Paper backed with paper. A bubble that will inevitably burst. The situation is even worse than it seems. Because if most Americans and the rest of the world were to become aware of this farce, confidence in your currency would be lost. The dollar will fall and the Western civilization with it. If the next president of the United States doesn't make the necessary policies and the structural changes, sooner or later that bubble will burst. There's still time. You don't have to make the same mistakes we did in the 60s and the 70s. You can still jump before the water boils. I find the eclipse coming on April 8th of this year suspicious as shit, and let me tell you another reason why. There will be a comet passing by the Earth in April of 2024, the same time we have 4 minutes and 30 seconds of total darkness in some areas, this comet is going to be pulling up. Do you know what this comet's name is? It's called the Devil's Comet. Wow. Now, this comet pulling up on us during the eclipse is the size of a city. It is volcanic, which means that when it's passing by the sun and it gets all that heat from it, it starts having tiny explosions. That's why it looks the way that it looks, and it's so bright, and you can see it from Earth with the naked eye. Make it even more suspicious as shit. Every time this comet passes by, there are natural disasters riots, all that kind of shit that happens. Not only in the United States, there were floods in China one time when it passed by. There was a massive eruption of a volcanic island that killed over 36,000 people in 1854 when it passed by. In 1812, when it passed by the New Madrid fault line, it caused massive earthquakes and created the 18 mile long real foot lake. I said it once, I'm gonna say it again. This eclipse coming on April 8th, 2024 is suspicious. Very suspicious.
the whole rollout of Justin Bieber's Yummy, he would post on Instagram, baby pictures. It would be like a baby, hashtag Yummy. Another picture, hashtag Yummy. There was like three or four on his Instagram. It's still up, he hasn't taken it down. But in the, the actual music video, there's a cherry covered by bread. Mm. What does cherries represent? Virginity. Mm. But in the video, it's being covered for now. Yeah. But then the video goes on. There's a bunch of food, like weird food across the table, right? Mm. And you know, like elites, they have a weird appetite. Like they'll eat anything. So it's like sardines, jello, big ass cakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Once he starts devouring it, he gets into like a high. And yeah. everyone's saying that that's the adrenochrome high. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. During the video, it pans back to the bread. Now it's not covering the cherry. The cherry's like pan to the people now. I feel like they pushing it on this. I thought it would have made way more sense, but the whole Instagram posting the hashtag and yummy was weird. Unless that's just like, I don't know. But the other stuff with the music video, I don't feel like that coincides with the picture. Do you know why Prince, the famous rock star that was a friend of mine, do you know why he called himself the artist when he came back? He calls himself the artist because that's what they call us in our contracts. Oh, these contracts are crazy. You should hear the terminology they say in these contracts. To use your name and likeness and perpetuity throughout the universe. Who the f could possibly know what that means? <laughs> Nobody does. Do you agree with what he is saying? Could there be a darker side to these contracts that these artists sign or is Dave Chappelle making it up? TikTok, this is for entertainment purposes only. It's so complicated, in fact, that when you're a kid like me, you have to hire somebody to tell you what that means. And you sit down at a table and you do the contract game. And that's how I got with Comedy Central. I signed a contract. But I signed the contract the way that a 28 year old expectant father that was broke signs a contract. I was desperate. I needed a way out. And it wasn't good money and it wasn't good circumstances. But uh, what else am I going to do? I said. And all these white people sitting at that table told me, trust this, Dave. It's a good contract. And I looked around the table and they all seemed to agree it was a good contract. But what if? What if it was like that game of three card Monty? What if they were all friends and I didn't know it? Definitely pay attention to, and you have to lawyer up because these people, if they go take advantage of you, they're going to take advantage of you to the fullest of extent. Universal Music uh, has pulled all of its artists off of TikTok. So if you go on TikTok right now and you try to put on a Harry Styles song or a Taylor Swift song or the Weeknd song, you cannot, because of a disagreement between Universal and TikTok, oh. over compensation and other things. So Universal says that TikTok has failed to reach a deal for them that it provides appropriate compensation for artists and songwriters, while also protecting human artists from the harmful effects of AI. TikTok hitting back, meanwhile, says Universal is greedy and not protecting its artists and songwriters. Hmm. It is a big old mess right here. I, 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 could, I could believe that, and I know a lot of y'all can believe that as well. Welcome to Wendy's. What would you like? Hi, could I have a number seven, no ketchup, large size with uh, Coke Zero? Would you like anything else? Uh, 10 piece nuggets with sweet and sour sauce. Would you like to make that a combo? No, thank you. Would you like anything else? Can I get a ghost pepper ranch sandwich, no lettuce, extra onion? Dang, this boy hungry, man. Um, I can't <laughs> cancel that. Can I get you anything else today? Um, <laughs> what year is it? It is 2023. Okay, um, that's it, thank you. You know, I actually. Great, please pull up to the next window. So I actually ran into one of these at um at a rallies or checkers. A lot of people might say both the same. And it does take a lot of the stress away from the worker. So I feel like this invention could also be pretty good. But for people who don't speak proper English, it can be possibly 
confusing for them. But at least it won't be a lot of arguments going on. <laughs> But if they get that order wrong, then it's really going to be over with. But then that can also cost a lot within jobs. So it's a lot of different avenues you can go here. You said something like a sentence and thought to yourself, wow, like I bet nobody else on earth has ever said those exact words that I just said. Sentence number one. Oh man, my uvula got stuck between that hamster's toes. What? That could never happen because your uvula is that swingy thing in the back of your throat right here. So there's no way you could get it stuck between a hamster's toes. Number two. Hey, Mr. Figgleduber, thank you for filling my gas tank with corn chowder. Number three. Ah! I'm soaking wet. Quick, somebody bring me the ocean. Sometimes I wonder if you can get juice from a potato. possible for a teenage girl to drink water upside down? What? Mm, I'm thirsty! <laughs> it's not possible! <laughs> I know that the director needs to be held responsible, but her parents 100 need to be under investigation as well because to me it feel like that her parents sold her out and that's completely sad to see this type of stuff air i don't know if she was like 18 at the time or it doesn't even matter but to know that this was aired on nickelodeon water upside down with your head hanging off the side of the bed is crazy work and now that i'm older and i look back at things and really pay attention to them it really really makes me believe that this guy knew what he was doing the entire time and not just him but other directors and everybody regarding Nickelodeon in general. They need to make a statement regarding this stuff. Today I'm going to be doing a live test to see if Google is always listening on your microphone. This is the subject we're going to talk about, okay? We're going to go to a few websites and see if we can find any advertisements for this right here. Now, I don't own one of these, so it's not going to be on any of the websites that we, it shouldn't be on any of the websites that we go to. Let's take a look at these websites and see what the advertisements are on them. The sponsored content here is from Outbrain. Obviously not what do we have what we have written on our piece of paper here. Uh, this one's an advertisement for what was that? Fancy pants taste on underpants budget. Okay, that's not what we're looking for. And here we have a breast cancer ad. I don't have breast cancer. So what we're going to do now is we're going to close all the browsers and then we're going to talk about this subject for a couple of minutes. All right. So dog toys. I mean, I want to I want to buy some dog toys for my dog, okay? Cuz I love my dog and he deserves all the best toys in the world, so maybe we can find him some really nice toys for some really nice toys for dogs. I think that'd be nice. Near me or affordable dog toys, that'd be really good for me cuz as a consumer, I'm looking for the most affordable uh, items that I can get for my for my pooch. All right, guys. I think that's that's plenty. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get back online and see what we got here. First website up. Oh my god. Dog it's toys. right there. There's dog toys right here. Well, everybody, I think that that is conclusive. That's definitely conclusive of spying, but the thing is when you accept these terms and conditions, you're allowing them to do things like that. Just know that they always listen and they're always watching. Anyone else besides me find this a little weird? Anyone else besides me find this a little weird? All of the stuff that they are telling us to do when it comes to this eclipse. Schedule errands and appointments early. Have communication plan with family. Have cash on hand in case of limited internet access. Buy necessary groceries and gas. Expect heavy traffic along lines. Wow. Okay, April 8th what is literally around the corner. What do they know that we don't know? They're telling us to get groceries. They're telling us to stock up on essentials. They're telling us to have cash on hand just in case. So what exactly do they know that we don't know? That first photo that you've seen was a news station in uh, Arkansas. This one that you're seeing on screen is from a place in Ohio. So what exactly do they know is coming? What are they not telling us? This is some strange stuff indeed.
You tell me what you think about all of this. They're even Fuel saying shortages. It's crazy. Possible gas shortages. Very strange stuff is happening. Some strange things are definitely ahead. Be ready and be prepared because you never know what's coming next. Probably this is going to be the third one since I've been alive that we've been through in uh, Eclipse. I don't think they've ever told us something like to prepare. Like, what are we really preparing for if it happened plenty of other times? Like, what makes this time so much different? And a lot of y'all probably don't even remember the actor, Just Jordan. Y'all know him. He was he was pretty good. Cool. It wasn't a lot of black uh, Nickelodeon actors. And when there were black actors, they were very known. But to know that this guy, Just Jordan, tweeted and said that the reason his show got canceled because he wasn't giving up anything. This, this is just a domino effect of these actors within Nickelodeon coming out one by one. And these are people that we really enjoy acting. So to know that behind closed scenes, we were enjoying their but they were going through it. It's just sad, man. Like these smiles, fake smiles and things like that. It's just, it's sick.